perfect. Hi guys, praise Jesus, praise the living God. Hello my beautiful babies, how are you? Jalia is back and today from the title, from how you see the title, today your girl is about to show you her mistakes. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jalia in case you're seeing me for the first time. Hi, welcome, feel free to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button. And yeah. All right, so my, from my previous video, the one that I did about friends, I actually got plenty of people DMing me. And also you can see the comment on that, on that video that lots of people really needed me to come back here and talk more about friends, but which I feel I should make like a general video about the mistake. So, hi, my name is Jalia and I am 26 years of age and I'm still in my 20s, but I feel I am eight years old right now that is what i feel from the mistakes i've done so if you're looking out for someone who has done plenty of mistakes in this world definitely come to jalia because i i am this kind of a person who has who has learned in a hard way does that make sense like i have learned everything in a hard way so today i actually wrote them down here to share with you my mistakes so i'm still in my 20s but i feel i should share with you perhaps when you're still you know 18 19 20 because i started doing mistakes when i'm around six years 10 years 13. so the first first big mistake that i actually made okay so number one that is that, this first mistake it is almost done by everyone so my first mistake was dating when i was young mm, i know it is really an exciting part where you you know you're still maybe in your teen years you meet this guy and then you all feel like hooked up and all that and personally i don't blame you because i was there but right now when i sit back and i hold myself behind i'm like mm, i wish i kind of waited at what my parents or our parents call the right time but at that time my sister i don't feel like it is you know it has anything wrong so i kind of started dating when i was still young and i feel it was a very big mistake because first of all Mm, I met wrong people in my in my whole life. So these mistakes mistakes are good because they tend to teach you to teach you like you see the positive part and the negative part. So if you are let me, let me even extend it here. Yeah, so if we are counting the mistakes, yes, I did the mistake. I dated young, but they also gave me an opportunity to learn so many things, all right? So if you are out right there the best thing is to keep yourself like just give yourself time don't be in a rush these things are going to get so many people in your life but when you get young first of all you might end up like giving birth so young when mentally spiritually you're not ready to have this child which can kind of bring you to drop out of school like start responsibility at an early age so what i suggest to you hey take your time just give it some time and definitely the right age is coming okay. okay so another one is making friends yo people ah i told you in my pre previous video i used to be this kind of a person who had so many friends so many friends and everywhere my friend everywhere my friend i i had this kind of bad influence but by that time you don't see them as as if they are kind of like influencing you badly you have this kind of people in your life and uh, they are um, at that time you don't see them as a bad influence but yes they are bad even up to now we still make friends but right now the friends that i'm focusing on the friends that i'm focusing on apart from my relationship with my god my mom my dad my husband leave alone that relationship i'm talking about the friends the friendship that i'm focusing on is to be with my online friends you people you are my friend that's why every time i try you know i want to do something or what or what i come here because these are the people like i feel not everyone is going to love you but at the same time you feel like i feel secure with you do you do you know what i mean like you're not going to come here and then do what or do what what i want to share with you is i'll share with you so try and make friends your friend whatever your friend does it reflects you so if you know you have this kind of a person who does this it is definitely you okay i am back my mom had called so yes another one guys this is so important is living in denial 
I used to be one day let me tell you one day I went out of a relationship and I used to be this kind of a person I I did this mistake and it really held me back from getting my healing is living in a denial like for instance you you break up with this man but then you are still in this kind of denial where you feel like mm, perhaps he will come back perhaps mm, perhaps you know god will change his plans perhaps mm, maybe things will be right maybe think this will be that the other will be that so living in such a, a situation i know most of you perhaps you're in a heartbreak or you're going through a certain heartbreak but the best thing for you to do is getting out of that denial is to completely understand that you know what this kind of a person left me he went and he's gone so so it doesn't have to to hold you back it holds your life completely it does not stop on you being oh, no. no it holds you back you miss out so many opportunity on this you miss out so many good people because you are still left in that illusion of thinking that mm, perhaps you'll come back perhaps this will be that perhaps this will be the other one perhaps this will be that so when i encourage you those are some of the mistakes i made in my early 20s is living in a denial please get out of that denial okay it is over it is done i know it is hurting it is so painful but just give yourself time and everything will come out so all right this one actually takes me to my other mistake that you know is not giving myself enough time to heal after a heartbreak or after like a breakup is not giving myself enough time to heal you know when you just come out of a relationship you feel perhaps you should date someone else it would make you feel better it will make you get out of that relationship that situation stupid relationship or what or, or that heartbreak that happened so it makes you think that when you go out and meet someone else it will help you to get over it no it will not help you it will not help you instead it will make it worse because you are using this person not because you really like him or what but because you're using him to escape your heartbreak so what if he breaks you the more and then you'll be broken into pieces and all that so rushing into a relationship immediately after like getting out of a relationship is really really not good i still have my christmas so it's not really good give yourself time first find out what you really want if any like if any of you like you feel if any you feel like he doesn't give you the standards you're looking for or what, just don't get into a relationship unless you're this kind of a person who just wants to date and drop date and drop date and drop but if you date seriously you want to last in this relationship you have to give yourself enough time to heal and boom that is all the mistake that i made stupid to me <laughs> okay this is what i'm about to give you the, 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 this even up to now i'm still doing the same mistake even up to now so it's about patience you guys you guys if there is anything i really really learned in this world is to be patient being patient oh my god i still struggle because i'm human there are those things that you have to struggle with but patience 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 i used to be this kind of a person like i try to, to work something eh, quickly like if i see it's not bringing out what i want i drop it there and then i drop it even if it's a relationship i drop it <laughs> so i used to be this kind of person like if i try to do something and then it doesn't come out this applies to even business wise when you try to do something and then you feel like you want overnight growth my sister it is not there everything is worked for it is like this work smart work hard okay you have to be smart and you have to work hard so patience even it affected me here in the u.s so in case you don't know i just moved here in the u.s from uganda and then i'm living in the u.s so it affected me one day i'll do a video and then i'll definitely talk about my like my documents and everything probably let's pray to the lord i get the courage to sit down and film it for you and then i tell you the impatience that i had oh my god i used to be patient and i know even up to now it kind of stuck my husband should i call it stuck is that english like it hurt my husband so much because i was impatient and all he says be patient be patient when they are telling you be patient why is it that you cannot listen and understand when someone tells you be patient even now i tell you right now who is watching me i try and tell you you know what 
be patient and then you're this kind of uh, does this person even understand what you know what i'm talking about like when when you say be patient do you actually know what it takes to be patient so patience patience even up to now i'm learning most of this is affecting me is affecting me because of the previous mistake that i you know used to do because i lack patience so if you are right there let me tell you patience patience <laughs> okay sometimes i'm not patient i'm not going to lie here i'm going to come here and i become a motivational sh speaker and then i tell you you know what i know what i'm not perfect and my my mistakes you know we, we still do mistakes we're human but patience if you are anywhere else my sisters wherever you are or here in the u.s uk where in uganda anything that you do requires patience for it to prosper patience 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 do you have anger i used to have anger i used to have this i should say i should call it spirit of anger anger is really a destroying spirit it is really so bad that it can make you lose completely each and everything anger anger i know most of these people skip out on this or you skip out or perhaps you don't actually realize it but anger guys i used to be this kind of a person first of all i could hold a grudge that is number one. Second, my anger would lead me. For instance, you've done something to me. Automatically, I react according to that situation right now. When I was still a young girl, let me tell you a story, a brief story. When I was still a young girl, like when, you know, when you're living at home, a family. So whenever my sisters would offend me, we had these dolls, eh? You know how those dolls can be. I would just get their dolls and throw them in the toilet. Or like, you know, for us, we have traditional toilets. This is another the toilets that you flush the doll cannot go but the other latrines you just throw it there it goes so every time they could annoy me i could just go straight in their room collect their dolls and throw it away not realizing that this thing was actually growing like every single day you could actually see it growing coming apart from the childhood or whatever and then you grow up you're becoming a woman you're becoming oh you're dating oh whatever you do oh you apply for a job or oh, whatever i don't apply for a job so let me not say that but in any situation where even if in even in a relationship i remember let me tell you something i remember one day a guy told me you have missed me because of your anger I'm not regretting of that guy but i'm just saying anger would can make you lose everything and i know most of you you're going through that phase but you just don't know how to handle it anger if you if you're this kind of a person me i was prayed for that is how it went but it did not go like completely like you just find it flow god will test you you still have those moments where you have to practice patience or like anger management you see something that is pissing you off it is very normal for you to have that anger but it is abnormal for you to use it so you feel like anger has come in god will test you will bring so many people to test you out okay so you just have to learn and do what we call anger management sometimes when i feel like my mouth is i feel like my mouth is telling me to do something that i don't want to do or even saying out like i just say jesus help me jesus help me like i i take it seriously most of you don't take it serious but it is such a big thing so anger anger if you realize that you have that side of you that has anger like when someone does something to you you feel like angry and you know you feel like reacting jumping on them bit bit get a pillow on bitter pill but never express your anger it will make you lose so many things have you ever aired out a word in anger or you tell it to your mother your father your friends your spouse or whatever you say it and then at the end of the time you regret it um i cannot tell you that i'm really like perfect in this thing or that i don't get angry or what i do get angry but when i look at myself right now and how i used to be i'm like okay jalia you progressed you are progressing by the time you you get to 27 years old or 28 you'll be like perfect 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 so i'm still learning to control my emotions and not base it on a situation that is you know 
at that particular time so let us go to the next one the next one okay wanting people to love me you guys have you ever been there you feel you need these people to love you it's as if you're trying to even force yourself for these people to love you does it make sense like you are you feel for you to live you need to be loved does it make sense so you feel like you feel you need to be loved yes it's true you really need to be loved but when it gets to that point where you feel like you you think that everyone loves you that is when it becomes toxic so not everyone is going to love you not everyone is going to love you even that person that is like your sister or your best friend or what it is not a mandate that they are supposed to love you I used to do that mistake asking and thinking that everyone is supposed to love me. But the day I put myself down there, I sat, I did like this, and then I was like, no one loves me. I have my God who loves me. My mom loves me. My kids love me. My husband loves me. It is enough. You don't need to be loved by the entire world for you to grow mentally or to like to prosper or what yes it is good if you have so many people who love you but just know one thing it is not a must for everyone to love you please that that you really help to please but you cannot please the entire world and even even here like on facebook or on instagram or on youtube you have people who watch your content not everyone loves you they just love that content part of you but it's not that they love you as you you're going to find fans that love you genuinely from their heart not because of content or what but you're also going to find people that don't love you even without a reason like spiritually you're not connected so ever since i learned so many things that are connected in this like in spirit spiritually like love is usually something spiritual if you don't love me it is not a problem that you don't love me no my problem is just to accept that i'm not supposed to be loved by everyone so i used to be this kind of person who could, could complain and most of the time you find yourself like even being wrong about the people that you know love you or don't love you i don't know if it makes sense but anyway i used to be this kind of a person who thinks that everyone should love me or thinks everyone loves me no it is not true it is not true you're going to find that the following you have for instance hey i clocked 300,000 subscribers here on youtube you're going to find that the majority of the audience like you're only loved by 10 percent and how if something happens to you or if something goes wrong that is when all these negative people all these people that has that have never loved you but they're just watching you from a corner waiting for that opportunity to expose you that's when they're going to come out that is how bad and that is how you should understand it that is how it is and yeah another one is wanting to live my life like the way or the other person lives their life like if it's about for instance let me let me say if it's about like smiling if it's about kids if it's about anything like i try to compare my life with you does that make sense like i try to be you for like for instance let me say let me say melissa you're watching me or anyone like i really want to try and be like melissa guys we cannot all live the same life we cannot all live the same life so i used to you know admire so many people's life without putting something at the back of my mind that any life that you really want to you are supposed to work for that life i did not know that and i actually faced it rough so living my life I feel I should create my own life. That's why I do my things differently. If any of you here, business-wise, personal-wise, or anything, try to be different. Don't copy the other person the exact way they do their things and then you bring it on the table. Try to be different. Like, whenever you create something different, you even feel happy, you feel, mm, like, different about everything, and then you'll be like, mm, you know, I'm feeling myself and all that. So yeah, I stopped trying to live someone else's life. And this is also something you should know. For instance, I'm 20, 26 years old. You find me, I'm married, I have three kids and all that. And then you find someone who is 26. She's not married, she, you know, she doesn't have kids. And then you want to try and compare a life to mine. You'll be like, oh my God, oh my God, am I right? Oh my, why is it Jan is only 26 years old and she's married and she's there and she's, she's doing this. She has a YouTube, she do that. Your heart is going to start having that 
space where you feel like empty you feel you miss out a lot of things you miss miss out a lot of things so comparing your life you're 30 you don't have a child it is okay it is that is how you want your life to be you're 45 you don't have a child it is okay you're 45 you know you you you're 35 you've not yet owned a house you can we all cannot get things at a certain point let me tell you this there are those kids or there are those girls that we went to school with at and their part at that time when we, went, we used to go to school together trust me they literally had everything i used to be broke in school yes i remember that they used to have everything parents would come you know when that time of visiting hey you're in boarding school you know this time it is time for the parents to come and see the kids and poor you you are there looking knowing very well no one is going to come and visit you because ah, home you're broke something is not right so they had everything they could go to school they could come to school perfect and everything like everything is perfect but then that is their time when you look at them right now is it the same case no is it the same thing no totally what about you who had nothing you're now somewhere you cannot try and compare so just imagine yourself if you had all that life when you're young and then when you grow up you totally have nothing and if i'm a fridge so yeah you find someone at their age they had a certain thing and for you you do not have but now you have it and now they don't have it that shows that life is just like this we grew up with so many rich kids you know so many rich kids in the village for them they, you know, they had literally everything for you broke girl right now you're somewhere and they're nowhere so it is just like an evolution yeah? Re evolution english english it is just rotates so around i don't look at what the other person has i just see can i really get to where i want to be yes can i really wake up every single day yes can i have sleepless nights in order to make my dreams come true yes for those people that don't know they might think that it's just overnight success no it is not it is so another one is not loving myself and the insecurities let me tell you my name is jalia when i was growing up i got attacked by a lot of should i call them i'm a boy i'm a boy can i say that i'm a, like a sore should i call it a sore like all over your body especially on my legs so i grew up when i had kabotongo so i'm a wagandi i'm a good so i grew up when i have a lot of scars on my legs first of all second i grew up when you see my hands right here they used to be like men's hands that is another one another thing that i grew up is i had a very dark complexion okay so leave alone leave alone all this thing that you see me here you know i don't know I should i should say like this i grew up with a dark complexion compared to my sisters that is the right word that is the right word i grew up with a dark complexion compared to my sisters my sisters used to be so light i used to be the darkest and they could call me chandiru they could call me all sorts of names that indicate my color so when i was growing up i used to think light is beautiful like being light-skinned is beautiful yes they are beautiful they are so beautiful but to me my assumption was if you're not light you're not beautiful so i used to have that mentality every time i could look my i could look at myself in the mirror i would say oh i wish i was like my sister who was light make perhaps things would be like different like perhaps you know could be this you know when you're this kind of a person when you go when you go to visit on your mother's side then they're already speaking you eh? calling you all sorts of names that was me ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. they could call me all sorts of <laughs> ugly bad names so i used to think and i was really insecure every time even yeah even on my body like when it comes to my boobs i used to feel like you need to have bigger boobs for you to be called a woman to be called a fully a woman so i grew up with those insecurities looking at myself and trying to be like i like i'm small i'm insecure about my body every time i could look at my legs i'm like oh if i do not have these cars i would be putting on something short like my friends how my friends are looking like oh my god now i cannot put on that short dress i cannot put on you know clothes that actually show oh sorry i got some vaccines 
oh i cannot put on such a dress i cannot you know because you know what my scars on my legs my this my that and another thing that actually also you know came in was stretch marks i got a lot of stretch marks on my on my legs and also you know on uh, on my legs yeah yeah that was before i gave birth so i could be insecure with my body not loving my body enough but the moment i started loving my body and accepting my body the way it is and i was like you know what jalia your dark skin that is good you are beautiful the moment i started people telling i started getting people who tell me that i'm beautiful i was like okay so you mean it is true i am beautiful I'm like, hey. so yeah i was like okay i'm beautiful so i started accepting myself imagine you have to accept yourself can you imagine so i i, I started accepting myself personally from you know apart from accepting myself and then boom the moment i started accepting i knew i knew and i was like you know what i'm not going to put on short dresses because i have scars on my legs and that is knowing yourself that's not being insecure that is knowing your body so well so that you don't have to go out simply because you love yourself and then you have to put on something short and then people would have to say she looks like a strawberry she looks like this she looks like you know as if they put nails on her feet or on her legs or what so i was like you know what i'm not going to put on short dresses because you know what i have scars on my legs that is so good that is so cool i was like okay what is something else these are my 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 arms i'm not going to put on something open like this because they'll be like hey 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 a, a guy is coming putting on a dress a guy is coming putting on a dress with a woman's face I was like you know what i'm going to put that what else what else did i know oh yes when it comes to my boobs i was like you know what we have bras bras are everywhere that are even making your boobs bigger not that i did not love it but you know when you want to put on a dress where you feel like you need to have bigger boobs you just put on a bra simple life simplified i was like okay what else i have stretch marks a woman as me from from what my mom teaches me you're not supposed to show your stretch marks okay i'm not going to put on something short i learned i loved myself and the moment i started practicing these things of loving myself and accepting my body the way it is i was so happy i've been so happy and i'm even proud to say it because i know there are lots of women can you imagine i even get messages dms of women telling me about their big forehead that they're insecure about their big forehead if you have a big forehead what is wrong with it if you want to reduce it put on a wig if you feel like today you want to rock your big forehead remove it if you want to reduce it put a scarf like it is how you take your life and it is how you accept your body and all that so to me it is nothing i am so fine i am okay with it but those are some of the mistakes that i made money wise i used to not be this kind of a person who works so i just started working of recent it's not been even two years but yeah when it comes yeah when it comes to money i cannot really say that i should give you a financial advice because i wasn't really working i used to be this kind of person who just gets so when you get you know what it does because you don't value that money a lot you will definitely spend that is the thing if you're not working for yourself you will definitely spend but yeah those are some of the mistakes and i hope you pick some of them you take them as important if you if you want if you don't want you should leave it but also another thing before i go that is just to tell you that you know what you are beautiful you are good enough and you prosper in jesus name amen i love you and take care of yourself